At a time when fast food, cars, and skyscrapers occupy our lives. A young couple, La Rong and Yang Zong, are herding on a meadow. Living a self-sufficient life in Podato. But in 2007, their life went through dramatic changes. In that year, the Podato National Park was announced. Located in Shangri-La City in the Qin Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture of Southwest China's Yunnan Province, Podato National Park covers an area three quarters of New York City, with only 6,600 odd indigenous people living here. The meadow where Larone and Yangzhou used to herd is now part of the national park. Indigenous people, including the couple, used to lead visitors in search of the legends of Shangri-La. The cacophony broke the tranquility of the forest. Men walked the horses, carrying visitors to explore the forest. And women set up barbecue stalls. They earned an extra income. But over time, the plants and water suffered varying degrees of damage. The paradox between ecological protection and economic development has become increasingly prominent. China has been exploring the way of green development for many years. During this year's two sessions, how to realize the win-win of ecological protection and economic development has become a matter of concern to deputies and delegates again. The story of Putatou National Park is an epitome. In 2016, Putatou was included in a country's pilot plan on national parks. Only less than 2.3 percent of the area is open to public, with all tourism activities managed by the park's administration, and the remaining 97.7 percent is thoroughly preserved. Pulatou has found its own path. First of all, we want to open up environmental education, let visitors feel close to nature and respect nature. 并且呢，让访客自觉地参与到保护自然的行动中来。第二的话呢，要引导公园内的访客在指定的特定区域内活动，避免人文活动影响到自然环境的保护。After relocating indigenous people who have destructive tourism practices, a peaceful life has returned to them. Today, George's horses are no longer carrying tourists back and forth in the forests. The barbecue stalls have become dusty. The national park's ticket sales have been helping the indigenous people financially. Besides the subsidies, do they have other sources of income? Tenzin and his wife now have more time with each other. What's more, the national park has also created some new jobs, offering people the chance to work in the park, such as shop assistants. Some of them have become forest rangers, doing everything they can to protect this piece of land. Good.